For the best FIFA 15 tips, check out FIFASolved.com. Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Solved. So this is following on with the national team squad builders. And because the Copa America is out, I've decided to do a cheap OP Chile team. Got Manuel Pellegrini as the manager already, so that's all set up. Um, there's not going to be Team of the Seasons or Legends, uh, because it won't be cheap otherwise. But it is very OP, and I'll give you the alternatives anyway. So, yeah, let's get this started. So, in goal, I'll just get Chile as the nation set up, so it finds Chile players nice and simple very quickly. Is Claudio Bravo of Barcelona. I keep basics on goalkeepers, all ba goalkeepers. I just think it's like a glitch in the game this year. They seem to perform well. Um, so I'm not going to smash a glove or anything on him whatsoever. But yeah, Claudio Bravo is the absolute number one goalkeeper for Chile. Um, you can get his inform for about 37k or maybe even his, his team of the season if you want to, if you've got the coins. But obviously it's not cheap. Um, over... I'd say his informal maybe could have got it for 37. I'd say over 50k is dear, um, but I decided not to because his his normal performance is very good as it is. It's very OP his normal card, so I stuck with that. I have gone out and bought one player for this squad builder because I've packed most of them, and it's the left back which I'll get to in just a second. So as for the right back, Fierro. Now the defence isn't that good. There's a lot of silvers in it, but the the midfield and strikers are, are very good. So um, with him, I, I smashed a shadow on him. Um, I'm going to go through these very quickly, these defenders, because they're not that great. Next one's Gonzalez. I'll keep a basic on him. I didn't I didn't think to put anything on him. Maybe a sentinel, sentinel. And the other centre-back is this guy, who I did smash a sentinel on, because his physical is 82. But as for the left-back, which I went out and bought, it's Jean Beauchesur. And it's the Inform Silver. Um, he plays in the Camp Scotty Bank, which is the, the Chilean uh, National League. And his pace is 80. He's got spread out, so that's 72 pass, 71 uh, defence, 77 dribble, 79 physical. His shot's not that bad. You might remember him at Wigan Athletic. Um, I think he won the FA Cup with him. I think he was in that team with uh, Roberto Martinez's Wigan Athletic. And... Um, you can see he's not. I don't know why he's gone to the Chile League. He's, he's still got a lot to offer. If he's got an inform and got in the team of the week, he's, he's obviously out of his depth in a good way. Um, but if he he's obviously decided to go back home, um, he's getting on a bit now. But he's he's not. You know, he's only in his early thirties. I think Sean Bosch sure. And this is a really good card. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this. I'm going to see how it plays. I'm going to do a ma uh, some match highlights. I'm going to do a game and share the highlights of a game I go into with these tanks. But now we're getting to the midfield now, which is very good. We start left mid, and it's Gonzalez, which is he's just about a silver. He was nearly a gold. Um, he's got 84 pace. He's got spread out stats, so I don't know whether to keep a basic on him or not. But that's the last silver in this squad builder. Um, and we'll get to the centre mid. And Arturo Vidal, he had to be in this. I, I keep a basic on two types of players, goalkeepers and players that have got spread out stats. And as for Vidal, he he's probably epitomises this on, on FIFA 15. He really has not got a weakness. I mean, seriously, his shot is the worst at 78, and even that is brilliant. Um, so I'm going to keep a basic on Arturo Vidal. He's been a bit naughty lately, hasn't he, with the uh, drink driving. Talk about Manchester United not going to sign him now, so he might have blown that, uh, you know, blown it to to go to the Premier League. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. He's a great player anyway, great player. Um, partnering him in centre mid, we've gone for four four two. Is Gary Medell, ex Cardiff City player, who's brilliant for Cardiff when they're in the Premier League. <clears throat> He's at Inter Milan now, and I've smashed a powerhouse on him because he was a defensive midfielder. And he actually was on this. He was a CDM and I've converted him to a centre mid. His physical is 86. He's an absolute machine, Gary Medell. And it, it, these two are, are CDMs, really. They, they, I mean, Vidal has got high and high. He's got four-star weak foot. But, you know, I've played one game with him. I didn't think I did. He's got one assist. So there you go. Can't wait to play the second game with him. But he's got high and high, so he'll shoot up the pitch and he'll, he'll track back when he's you've lost the ball. And as for Gary uh, Medell, he's got low attack, low and high defensive. So he really wants to protect your back four. And he'll be there all the time in front of that back four. And he's got four-star weak foot, so he's a bit both-footed as well. As for right mid, you know it is. There's no two ways about it. It's Alexis Sanchez. Um, 
the best Chilean, I think. He, he just beats Vidal just about. He is a machine. He's had a great breakthrough season in the Barclays Premier League. 88 pace, 88 dribble, 85 shot. I've smashed a engine on him because his shot looks after itself. It'd be great with his shot. But, um, you know, you could go for his team of the season, but you know it's going to be dear, guys. And that couldn't fall into this squad builder. No way. Um, I'm not even going to share the price. I dread to think. Expensive, let's put it that way. Up front is um, Vargas, who is one of the most overpowered strikers on the game. He was in my top 10 list for most OP strikers on the entire game. Smash a hunter on him. He's a little little fox in the box, little poacher. He's got pace. His shot is overpowered. His dribbling and sweatiness is overpowered. He is a machine. And he will score in this match. I, I absolutely promise you that. I've no... Um, oh, I've played one, scored one, one assist with him. I didn't even know that. He's got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Um, and I'll play two and I'll score another one with him. I've got no doubt about that. Parting him up front is just about a gold. It's Paredes. Um, I'm not sure about him. I've smashed a hawk on him. I certainly haven't played with him this year. But um, he is a gold. And um, that makes up this squad builder, guys. This is a, the, the best possible chili team on a cheap budget, I think. Um, can't wait to see how both of your plays out. As for the instructions, I'll just actually do the player roles first. Left corner, um, we're going to give it to Sanchez, and the right corner to Vidal. Short free kick, Sanchez. Long free kick, Sanchez. And penalties, we'll give it to Vidal. Could be Sanchez or Vargas. And the captain, it's got to be Arturo Vidal really, hasn't it? That's the player roles out of the way. As for the instructions, I don't touch this much lately, to be honest with you guys. I really don't. Um, I like balance attack. I, I, I think if you always put overlap, they're not at the back. If they do a counter attack, you you have it's a goal. You have conceded. There's n there's no two ways about it. So I always have that. Or but with this right back, I'm going to put stay back while attacking, and I'm just going to have both as your overlapping and not overlapping, doing what he thinks is right at the time. Um, <clears throat> Anything for Vidal. Um, I'm, I'm going to have balance because he's got high and high. I'll tell you what, with, with him, even though I know he's going to... I'm going to put stay back while attacking with, with Gary Medell. Um, even though he will because it's low attacking. And we could sm smash something on this guy. Just um, drift wide. Let's have him drifting wide and... You know, maybe taking a defender with him to release space for Vargas. I think that's some good tactics for this, actually, this upcoming game. So, guys, now I'll go into a game and I'll show you these tanks in action. And I've I'm, I'm got a really good feeling about this squad. I think it's going to be good. And if it is really overpowered, I'm going to share match highlights of two games. But we'll wait and see. So, here's the highlights, guys. So, this was the first opponent I come up against. He had a Yannick Balassi in form up front. Uh, striker Yip Balassi. Uh, Willian, Matic, Johnson, it weren't too AP really, um, it was quite comfortable but it's just luck of the draw. So this was the first chance of Vargas, uh, great save that was from Tim Howard, unbelievable save. Um, what, what's this now? Oh the hill clip by Vargas and then he gets his angle right and it just puts it into that corner. That is just a piece of cake for him, he'll do them all day long. Thing is with that as well as I didn't even finish shot it was... I may, maybe should have to caress it into the corner. I just put my foot straight through it. Hit it true. And uh, that was Vargas off to a great start. I said he'd score because I knew he would. This is me running with him. Trying my luck. Just being sweaty. And uh, Howard made a good save. I saw the keeper coming off the line here. So I dinked it over with Vidal and Paredes. That's the easiest goal he's scored in his life. But he put it in. To be fair, he's still got a nod it in. I don't know why players do this, bring the keep off the line, because I just punch them like that if they do that to me. And yeah, as I said, easy finish for Paredes. And he decided after 23 minutes to quit. So it was a good job I was going to do a second game, guys, which I'll share the highlights of now. He got a 10 Vargas. He was that mental. Um, in the 20 minutes that he did have, he uh, made sure Vidal got two assists. So this was the second opponent to come up against. Um, he had a great Bundesliga team, you know, De Bruyne, Lewandowski, Royce, Muller. Um, this is the first chance for Vargas. He should have put that away if I'm, I'm being critical. Lewandowski with a chance, but Bravo comes off his line. Quick and sharp. Brilliant save that was. Vidal did a fake shot. I get as close as possible with him because I wanted to get him a goal. 
and he saved it unbelievably. Oh, this is mental. Look at this from Paredes. Bang. Back on it. That's got to be 20, 25 yards out. Oh, I just thought I'd try my luck with him. And he, he was OP. He was really good. That is a mental rocket. I was really pleased that that went in. Um, I didn't think it would. I thought I'd try my luck. I thought it might get on target. But yeah, it hit the back of the net. I thought I'd uh, show you it a couple of times. The player probably got annoyed. But, you know, that deserves another look. Esteban Paredes or Paredes. Oh, I'll say Paredes. Uh, there's Bojashaw coming out being a tank tackling, but then he's not finished there. There's a boy over the top. Got to show the money player. <coughs> Paredes, fake shot, cuts inside, unleashes a shot, hit, hits the target, but then it falls to Gary Medell, and he makes no mistake about it. And I was really happy Medell got a, a goal because he's a tank in midfield winning all the tackles, and uh, he just shows there that he can chip in with a goal every now and again. And if you remember, I put stay back while attacking, and he, he obviously ignored me. Decided to chip in with a goal. What clip do we have now? Medell. Oh, yeah, he was silly. He, d he put a challenge in with Luis Gustavo just now. He got yellow for it and he decided to do it again and the ref had enough and sent him off. Gave him his marching orders. So he was down to 10 men, 70-minute uh, mark. This is Medell laying it off of Vidal. Bang! Puts his head down, hits it true. He was so unlucky not to score. I tried everything to get a goal with Vidal. Fake shot with Paradez and then a slight in. It was a great goal. And Vidal got the assist for that anyway. That made it 3-0. Fake shot. Does him. Just puts it straight past the keeper. He, he was really good, Paredes. I was really pleased with his performances in these games. There's Vidal. Chipping over Vargas. Looked like it was a crap ball, but Vargas made the mot most of it. And that's what he does, guys. He makes the most of chances that aren't chances. He's just sweated it. And Vidal got another assist for that. Uh, Vargas just cleaning up and that was it guys Paredes got a 9.4 Vidal got an 8.6 look at the centre back to Silva he got a 9.1 um, goals two for Paredes one for Vargas one for Medell two assists yet again for Vidal he got two assists in both games and uh, yeah guys that that is the uh, Chile squad builder the cheap OP Chile squad builder so you can watch any of the two previous videos by clicking on the screen subscribe to the channel if you're a newbie and uh, I'll see you next time guys which should be a tutorial and um, another road to division episode so I'll see you then guys